hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back to sit down and share with you what we have got p for christmas this year so this is going to be hi, hi. do you want to say hello do you want to come sit on my lap i've got a female jack Grealish look-alike with hi. me today <laughs> um this is a collective haul as always as all of mine are but some of the things that i'm showing you in this video will be gifted on behalf of my auntie and my mum i think Wee. yes that's right so this is from us and then my mum and my auntie give me money for pee and then i just say this is what you've got on behalf of blah 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 so she hasn't got that much like i said in her birthday present video Wee. yeah it's okay it's fine it's whirly she doesn't need a lot she's not here from nine till three the majority of the time because obviously she's at school she's getting that Mama. little bit older Mama. go on i'm gonna guess it then it's in the kitchen i think go have a look so i'm just gonna grab and go and explain as we go for p's birthday you would have seen she got a designer friend doll she got the big she got two big ones for christmas i got from argos this is back in the sale this was clearance I don't even know what it is. Can't remember. I've had it for so long. It's a bauble, which I thought was very apt. Comes in the box. Comes with a tissue paper. Don't know what's in it because I can't open it. It's sealed. But it was basically, I think it was like three pounds fifty, maybe four pounds. And they had different varieties of like accessories for the designer doll friends. Good girl. I think this might be. So there was a I guess that is a ball. Better put that away. It was like a, a scarf and hat accessory or something festive like head boppers. I have no idea what's in this one. But it's just a little little extra. Yeah, I doesn't even say. It doesn't say on the box at all. It was just a little extra to go with her dolls. So that'll be a nice surprise on Christmas. For, for P. So she's got that. Adam, you want a tea? I haven't made you a tea. I've got a coffee. And then the, and then the other designer friends thing that I got, I got recently. And again, this is in clearance. I think it was four pounds, which I didn't think was too bad because designer friend isn't that expensive, but our generation is. And this one, and she got the wardrobe for her birthday, which didn't have any jeans. So when I saw that this went down into the sale, I thought she'd love it. Does it have the jeans? Yeah, so for £4, this is quite good. So you've got a little headband, which she's going to love. Please don't touch. She's got a bag? I don't really know. Oh, I think it's the instructions. This is for yayays, okay? She's got a little charm. Not sure what it's for, but she's got a little charm in there. She's got some shoes, little unicorn shoes. A poncho, leave. Yes, it's for yay yays, okay. And a pair of unicorn jeans. So I just thought, as a little outfit for her designer friend that she got for her birthday, I thought she'd love it. And for four pounds, that's a really, really lovely gift. I know that when filming, just a little behind the scenes, I'm filming the day before the Say Nose toy sale and it hurts my heart that I'm not including anything currently as it stands. If I buy anything that's going to be for Christmas, which I don't think I will, I really don't need the sale. You need a poo. I don't know, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, it hurts my heart, the fact that nothing from Sano's this year is included in this haul. Shouldn't need anything. The thing that I got on Amazon back in the summer is this. Now, I was going to buy, buy this that was buy and pay, and the lighting's changed. Cool, don't you just love filming in the winter? Um, I was going to buy this in the summer last... No, I was going to buy this for Christmas last year and then it went down into the sale on... It was on Amazon, but it was also on Argos for £4. I paid £6 for this on Amazon and it's Uno Showdown. I can't remember 100% how you play it. We'll do our research. Requires three AAA batteries. 
note to self editing dress buy some batteries it's just more interactive but it also comes with a deck of uno and uno on its own is like I think it's like £5.50 in the sale normally when it's got money off. So we don't actually have Uno, we've got like cheap Uno. So it's just a nice little gift for her. A little bit more grown up. Age of seven plus, but we've been playing Uno for years and she loves it. Can't open it, it's for yay yays for Christmas, okay? So we've got Uno Showdown. I picked her up a new umbrella from Home Bargains. She desperately needed some. Her other one, or needed one. Her other one is all battered. It's gone all rusty and horrible so i thought it'd be a nice gift because florence has also got a new umbrella no can't open it inside it's bad luck so this one is a my little pony one i wanted to get her an lol doll one but couldn't find one for a reasonable price anywhere and this is what it looks like open up i can't remember if i said i got this from home bargains this was 2.99 i think it's not raining it's not raining sunny I'll show you the smaller bits first and then we'll work up to the bigger bits as we go so i got her this new perfume set she's had this well i think she's had this one before and she's finished it and then she's working her way through a different one and she's almost run out so it's the perfect time to give her one she wears perfume every single day for school her little routine is do her hair do her hairspray and then she puts on some perfume and florence wears it too don't ask me why i don't even know how we got into the routine but we have this is from Next, it should have been £8, went down to £2.50. think I've had this in my present stash for about three years now, uh, so I thought I'd better give it to her, and it's really pretty. Miss Pink. So she has got that. Like you would have seen in the birthday present haul that I did for P, I also got the OMG edition of the 2021 annual. I know that this is technically last year's, but it's just a little bit of fun for her like i said previously i paid 99p for this should have been 2.99 in aldi probably a little bit grown up but still just fun she likes to get these sorts of books and then sit at the table and play schools and i hear her when i'm cooking my dinner or cooking dinner i should say i hear her like say her friends names from school and she gives people stickers I just leave her to it, but she's going to enjoy that one nonetheless. Something that P has asked for, and again, I don't know the order of my videos and when they're going up for Vlogmas, but she really wants makeup, and in her stocking, I put in just a tiny bit of makeup. I actually got this before from Primark, and I know she's going to love it, so she is a little bit young for it, but it's just a bit of fun, and at the time, I couldn't find kids' makeup, so I went to Primark. So originally I found this pouch, it's got a P on it, it's a face mask pouch, it was £1.50, so I thought perfect little makeup bag for her, because she doesn't have a makeup bag, I don't think, I don't think she does. And then inside they had these little palettes, they had loads of different varieties, but we went with the berry one which was £2.00. And it's just, I, w I wish I got the bluey greeny one, but never mind. So she's got this one, which she's going to love. So she's got that eyeshadow palette. I got her a blush because she likes, she likes wearing my blusher. So this is one pound. This is one that is called In the Pink. So she's going to really like that one. And then I just got her, and I didn't get her a blusher brush. I need to get her a blusher brush. I got her a blending eye brush. Again, this is one pound from Primark. Just a little bit of fun, isn't it? She can play around with her makeup when she wants to do dressing up or whatnot. And I would imagine Florence will get involved as well. And then from Home Bargains, I found this Wet n Wild lipstick. I think this is a pound. And it's smooth mauve. So it's just a pink lipstick. Am I gonna regret that? Yes, yes I am. Will it end up on my sofa? probably it's fine it's a bit of fun and she'll love it so i'm going to wrap them all up individually and then wrap up the bag as well and she's just going to have a great time on doing all of that mm. another small thing that i've got most recently p's been asking for slime and i i just don't like slime so i thought small slime will be fine this was from b and m this is more of like a stocking filler but she's got so much in her stocking i just thought an extra present under the tree would be fine two pounds and then you get six little tubs 
of slime which i think she's gonna really really enjoy i was gonna get a poopsie slime and stuff but that's just so expensive and pia has asked for which i thought were really expensive were jewelry boxes and i ended up finding this in home bargains it was 2.99 and like a proper like wooden jewelry box and they're like 20 quid and i don't know whether she's gonna actually use it and love it so we're going to see how she goes and potentially get her a nice, like, proper one next year. Am I a cheapskate for just buying her a plastic box? Yes, I am, but I'm all right with that. She's six, for God's sake. So, like I said, this is 2 dollars It's classified as a storage box. It's all girly. It's got rainbows and stars, and it's pink and purple, which are her favourite colours. She's got the dividers up here, which I think is great. You can lift it off, and then you've got space on the inside as well. So I've got these two which originally were going to be in the stocking but i thought i would keep them for christmas wrap them up put them in the box wrap up the box because i like to do that sort of thing i like putting things in things and just unwrapping loads of stuff so these were only 149 each so she's got a set of rings again probably should be a stocking filler but it's going to be a tree present because she's still young and i can get away with cheapy little bits so she's got those rings which i think are really really pretty really affordable so i liked those and then i got her this charm bracelet which has got love it's got a unicorn it's got a star another unicorn a little gem and i reckon she could probably put that unicorn charm on this that she got in her designer friends it's just a little bit more grown up i think she's gonna love it and she she's asked for jewelry she asked for jewelry and makeup in a jewelry box so that is something that she has got okay I've just given Florence a drink and a biscuit, so I'm hoping that I can smash out the rest of this video baby free. Yum. Anyway, as I was, smaller bits. These again were from Home Bargains recently. Ritzy Rollers. I don't really know what they are. They're just little vehicles and you have these little gems and you can take them out of the wheels and then put them in. Again, probably more of a stocking filler, but I've also got them for Florence, and so I thought both of them can have them underneath the tree. They were really inexpensive. They were 79p each, so I'm just going to wrap them up. So there's a unicorn one, which again, P's going to love. And you like open up the boot and put the gems in the boot or something. Just a little bit of like an extra present. And then she's got that one, which is like a sheep. And then you can get all like the spa and everything I saw, but I didn't, I don't need more plastic tat. Like little things like this is fine. So I've got her two of those. She's probably a bit grown up for it, to be honest. But like I said previously, I'm really struggling with what one of them have, the other one wants. So I just thought I'd just get them for them. So she's got that. We've also got her Lego Friends. Don't know what this is. It's like one of the cubes. This is the vet one or the pet shop. What's this girl's name? I want to say her name's Andrea, but I'm not 100% sure. This we got last year. I actually wrapped it up for Christmas last year. And I saw she had far too much stuff, so I've kept it for this year. Is that bad? I don't know. I can't remember how much this was. It was probably like £6, which I think is quite a lot of money for what it is. But P really likes making little sets out of stuff. We've got a sideboard there, and she just gets little bits and plays and like makes i can't remember what she made yesterday but she's like look mommy i've done this and i've given them a bit of my biscuit and she does role play with them so i think she'll actually really enjoy this this year have it open up and sort of make her more of a set herself as opposed to the designated sets i might try and get her another one actually looking at it i think she's going to really like it so we don't have this character either it's got a bit of money and like i said it's got like a, a pet theme which i know she's going to really really enjoy so we've got that one for her picked up this lol present surprise puzzle thing i think this was from home bargains as well and this was i think it was 1.99 really good price i remember it being really really affordable and then they put the prices up and i know i got it for the cheaper price i don't really know what it is it's a color swap what will it what color will it change to i don't know i don't know what it means a little bit of fun for her. It's a 48 piece puzzle. She has sort of stopped doing puzzles and she's gone she's gone off them quite a bit, but 
just something for her to do, isn't it, during the, the festive period. So that was, again, was another very inexpensive present, which I know she would love. Next up, we've got Magic Painting. I got this in the Debenhams. 70% off sale or whatever it was back in the summer last year. I've spoken about it before. Should have been 5 99 and I think I literally paid like £1.20 for it. And it's one of those magic painting books where you just use the brush and some water and then it obviously turns into like a watercolour type thing. So what you do, it's got this cardboard flap. So then say you pick your picture and then it doesn't then bleed onto the rest if that makes sense. She's gonna love it. It's definitely more of like a grown up, grown up coloring, like water coloring as opposed to the baby ones because it's more intricate. She hasn't had anything like this for a while and I think she's gonna really enjoy it. Sticking with the crafty things, this one's a little bit weird, but bear with me. I needed to find some hammer bead boards and I couldn't find them anywhere and I went to Tiger and they were literally reduced they obviously were letters and they were all reduced to like 10p I don't know how much they were so I've got a couple of these letter ones I've got another one down here oh, this one's V so I've got a couple of these which come with beads and the design is paper so it comes off so that one should be a square so I've got her a couple of these to wrap up and then I've got her some hammer beads, but not hammer beads, but cheaper hammer beads. So these are from Tiger. I think these were, were they two pounds? Again, I got these last year and I forgot to give them to her and here we are now. Again, probably more of a stocking present as opposed to a tree present, but hey ho. I'm trying to do it as cheap as possible this year. So these are the glow in the dark ones. Just a nice little thing for her to do. She loves doing them in the summer. So I thought just bringing it back. I do need to find some more boards. I need to get her like a star and a heart. We've obviously got the square. I think we've got a circle. So I just want to get some more like fun shapes for her. So I'm going to have a look on eBay. But I just thought these ones would be really nice. And then I also got her these ones, which are beady beads with a Z. And they're glitter ones. And again, I got these on Amazon. These are so inexpensive. I think they were like £2.30 for 3000 I don't know how many she's got in this one. It doesn't, so 2000 So she's well away and she's going to love these. Just a nice little extra for her. So I got her book collection from The Works. This was £10. Should have been 35 94 Again, I don't know how accurate that is. And this is Dotty Detective. The Holiday Mystery, Birthday Surprise, Lost Puppy, Midnight Mystery, Paw Print Puzzle and Suit per secret agent. These are by Clara Valami. Is this what they look like? Right up her street. A good beginner book, easy read, images on the pages. I wish I could show you, but I can't. It's like a diary style. I know she's gonna love it. Not necessarily straight away when she opens it at Christmas, but say spring moving forward, as her reading progresses throughout the year she's going to be well away with these and it's just that nice starter entry level book for her um to get going with so i'm really happy that i got these probably could have gotten them a little bit cheaper online but i bought them in store this year with the children getting older and florence obviously being a little bit older what i've done is a gift from each of them which is the same but slightly different i'm not a massive fan of stuffed toys nor is P, but she does have a couple of special ones. And I've got a feeling this one's gonna be a special one. If you watch my vlogs, I wanna say it was Vlogmas 2019. Might have been the year before that. We went and saw Father Christmas and P got this T.Y. Graham pink cat. And she loves it. She calls it Kitty Cat. It's still one of her favorites and it's on her bed. And it's a T.Y. She then got the T.Y cat version of um the cat that she got from father christmas as a pillow like a squash mallow squash mallow squash mellow pillow but the ty squashaboo i think so i just think she's gonna love this so this is gonna be from florence to p and then p has actually picked one out for florence which you'll see i don't know whether it'll be before or after but you'll see it so this is a little hamster i think it's got pink eyes, it's multicoloured, 
and I just know she's going to absolutely love him. Should have been £6, paid £3.99 in TK Maxx, and I just thought, from Florence? Like, I can't not do gifts from the children anymore. I just can't do it. So, this will be from Florence to P, and then Florence will also receive a TY toy from P to Florence. So, I just think he's a little bit of fun. He's called Rodney. I don't know anything about Beanie Boos. I don't know if this is a new one or not. It says 2019, so probably not. But I just thought he was really cute, and P just loves rainbows at the moment. Okay, now moving on to sort of like the bigger items, I guess, as opposed to smaller. Looking at this, and how long I've been filming, I feel like it's a lot. But when I did my flat lay, the stuff is so inexpensive that it's not a lot at all. LOL balls. We've got three boys. I am hoping to get her one girl in the sale at Say Nose tomorrow. I don't think she needs it, but just to sort of finish it off, I, I feel like she does need just one girl. So we've got series two. I think he was four. 350, four, five. He was he was the cheapest of the of the lot because he's the oldest. And then we've got series three, which is the yellow. Where did I get these from? Was it Sm the Entertainer Smiths? One of the toy shops. And then we've got series four, which came out in the summer. So she's got three boys. What I did last year that was really well received from P that I'm gonna do again this year is give her the Hobbycraft glittery box for her LOL storage. Since last Christmas, her LOL collection has just expanded through secondhand bundles. Yeah. Haven't really bought her that many brand new. So I thought I'd get her this one. She loves this color. We walked past Hobbycraft. Hang on. We walked past Hobbycraft and she said that she really liked this one. So I went in and got it. It actually went down in the sale. I think I paid 5 50 for it as opposed to 7 50 And last year I put loads of stickers over it for like an LOL box. So I'm going to let her do that this year. And so if you haven't seen it, they're just a storage box. Like a, a glitter caddy is what they're called. And she just likes to organize her LOLs. Um, you've got like the dividers up at the top and it just fits like the bottles, the hair accessories, the dolls themselves, like the hats, the dolls fit down at the bottom and then in here this year I've just put in a couple of little LOL bits. So she's got a bath bomb which was from Primark for 50p, so she'll like that. Hair goal surprise, she, I know she loves these and these were... Two pounds, they do them in Poundland and in Home Bargains. Yes, I know. So she's got that one. So hopefully she'll get something different. She hasn't had a duplicate yet, but she's only had three. So we'll see how that goes. And then we've also got the Bestie bracelets, which I think was like 70. Florency. Uh, these were 79p and you get different varieties. So again, she's going to love that. Whilst I'm on the LOL doll front, we have got her a couple of OMGs and the first one we have got is this one. Now this one is going to be on behalf of my mum. So this is Lone Star. She's the OMG remix one and I know that these, sorry about Florence, these ones they have like the, the vinyl disc and it plays music in the box. So I know she's going to absolutely love these. This one's got brown hair. She hasn't got one with brown hair. And she's like a cowgirl version. Are these last year or the year befores? Either way, because P doesn't follow the series, I, I'm able to get older ones for cheaper. So this one was £15 in Argos. Very affordable. They sell for like 15, 20 quid second hand. So very, very happy to find that one for her. She's going to love it. And it comes with more than one outfit. 25 surprises. She's, I'm just, I'm so happy that I've got it because I know she's going to love it. And this is the range, by the way. So we've got this one down at the bottom, the cowgirl. But they're all in the sale at the moment. So if you see this and you want to get some, they're, they're not, they range from like 15 to 20 pounds at the moment. What's her Kitty K, which is like the Ariana Grande style which I know she's gonna love. She's got purple hair, she's got long purple hair. She, I think she comes with a microphone because these are like the music ones. I think Lone Star might come with a guitar and then this one comes with a, a microphone or something. I'm not 100% sure. 
I just know she's gonna lose her mind over it. She's gonna be so happy with her. She comes with a really nice like holographic outfit. It was, I think she was 19.99 from the entertainer in the summer. Uh, and she sold out quite a lot, but I don't think that the stock issues are that diff that, that hard anymore. So I got her. And then that was, that was me done, okay? For the OMG big dolls. And then something went into the sale for like 18 pounds and I, I just could not buy it. And that is this. Look at this. It was so cheap. I can't remember the exact price. It was either like 15, 18, 17, 20 pounds. I can't remember. I got it in the, su in the summer from Smith's. I got it on the 14th of June to be precise because I've got it on the back here. And it's a it's a double it's a it's a duo and the duo this year is so much better it's like the Greece inspired it's got like a blonde girl and then like a a Greece Danny Florence really happy to have this look at it it's like a rocker style boy with really long hair and I think he comes with a guitar or yeah they both come with guitars and then we've got the punk girl she's gonna love it I think I mean. What six-year-old wouldn't like this that's into LOLs? She's going to be so happy with this. And again, I'm just happy for the price that I paid. So she's going to have so much fun playing with this. She said she wanted some boys. She got the boy for... Good girl. She got the boy for her birthday, uh, Scribble's dad, which is the, the boy that came out in the summer, I think. Uh, so she was very lucky to receive him. So now she can have another boy to add to her collection. Whether she'll be into this stuff next year, I don't know. But I'm just happy to have it. And I mean, for the price that I paid. It's a main present there. And it literally cost me, like, like I said, like £15. This went down into the sale in... Asda. And it should have been, I think it was £34. And it went down to 20. So this is gonna be on behalf of my auntie Carol. Carol for Christmas just gives me money and just says buy whatever and wrap it up and put my name on it, so that's fine. And I've got her this Lego Friends box. It's the Heart Lake, I don't know. Why am I so old? Heart Lake City brick box. This is what it looks like. 20 pounds. What a steal. What have we got in here? She's got ice creams, she's got a parasol, we've got horses, we've got a music station, we've got characters, a little, I don't even know what that is, a mouse, a bunny rabbit. Just so much stuff for, a, for 20 quid, she's gonna love it. I don't know how many items or bricks you've actually got in it. Doesn't say, I don't think, unless I'm missing it. But this type of thing is perfect. So then P can pick and choose what she wants to play with. We don't have a, uh, a new box for her, like a brick. She had a Duplo one, which is in the attic because she doesn't play with that anymore. This is perfect. She can then put all of her other Lego bits in it. And I just thought for 20 quid, an absolute bargain. And I know this is gonna get so much love and I'm just really happy that I managed to get it. So we've got that for her. Like I said, that was from Asta. I don't know if it's still in the sale. And I haven't seen it anywhere else. So she's got that one. I'll pop that back in the box. And then finally, like I said, that was from my Auntie Carol. Her main present from us this year, I'm missing a case and I do need to buy one, is the Fire HD 8 32 gig in black. This is a new tablet for her. Her Hawaii, Hawaii, you know the brand. That tablet that she got, when was it? Was she three? It's so slow. I think Pete, Florence is now gonna go and get it. It is so slow. The poor girl can hardly watch a YouTube video on it. She can't, she's very limited on the, on that, I call it an iPad, it's not an iPad, on that tablet. Um, my mum actually got a Kindle this summer and I, I don't, I have the, the reading Kindle, not a fire. So I was really happy to actually see how a fire works and it's great and it's definitely the perfect time to give P a new tablet. So this went down in Prime Day. It should have been... Was it 79.99 and I paid 39.99? 
Either way, it went half price and I think I paid either 35 or 40 pounds for it. And I just think it's great. It's the perfect size for her. She's obviously into her reading which is the perfect time to obviously give it to her. She can play her games, she can use all her all of her apps, so Netflix, things like that. And I just thought for the perfect like starter tablet for her now being a bit older, we've got her this. So then from my brother-in-law, we can get them to get her an Amazon voucher and then she can use it on Kindle books. So yay, I'm really happy that she's got this. It's very affordable, 40 quid for a main Christmas present, I think is really, really good. And like I said, I'm gonna get her a case. I don't know which one to get yet. I don't know what style to get, whether it be like a, a, a bumper case or a flap one, I'm not too sure yet. But I got her this and I was toying with the, the kids or this, but I know that with the kids, it put a lot of money onto it and I can just install kids on this if I want to for a, month, a monthly subscription. And I feel like kids is probably more aimed at Florence than it is at P, so. We'll see how we get on. If I feel like I want to buy the subscription for kids, then I'll do it. But for the meantime, she's just going to have this and I'm really happy and I can't wait to see her open it up because I know she's going to get so much use out of it. Um, so yeah, she's got herself a new Kindle Fire. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you've got your kids, whether you feel like I did well. I think I've done really well. I've saved so much money this year buying through the sales and I've got some really good prices. I've tried to keep it down as much as I can and I think I've done really well for that. Leave me a comment, let me know if your kid's into LOLs, how long they were into LOLs for. I'm now obviously starting to think about next year, which I know is insane, but that's how I work. What am I gonna buy for next year? I don't know. Do I, do I buy a couple of LOL stuff in the sale? Who knows? But anyway, I'm going to go. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.